well with you today i wanted to do a quick commentary on love and marriage huntsville but before we get into it please take this time to like and subscribe to this channel now let's get into it because the last video i did in regards to love and marriage huntsville we heard miss dawn which is mel's manager speak out about the torment that mel has been going through in the last couple of years and I just wanted, for those of you who weren't aware, to get a visual or at least an audio of some of those things. The very thing that Mel had said in the last reunion where she mentioned Martell constantly coming for her reputation, trying to get everyone to dislike her. And, you know, pretty much going on a tour the same way Destiny is now going on a tour, trying to tarnish her name. So I wanted to start off with first that clip where she had mentioned it. So we're kind of starting from the end and then we're going to um, actually go to the beginning and, and then go forward. Um, I also wanted to talk about just this nonsense <laughs> that she has been going through i don't understand why they keep trying to push and when i say they mostly carlos king wants to push this narrative that they belong together that he wishes them in a good place in which i believe we all you know would hope that they could get there but unfortunately that's just not what it is and we have to allow people to grow apart and to be in safe and sound environments without having to be forcefully kept in toxic environments. And I think that Mel is trying to outgrow, or she is outgrowing this cast and this narrative that they keep trying to push on her. And she's trying to escape it, but they want to keep her in this same space. So I just want to piece together again the narrative that martel has been trying to push as well as some of his, some of his toxic um encounters and which i just don't understand why they would want her to continue to stay in this place so without further ado let's get into it we're going to start off like i said with this clip from this past reunion Stormy, based upon the fact that people are throwing things around over here, what, how does it make you feel to hear these things being said about her? To be honest, like, I don't really know what's going on with their dynamic. With us, we haven't had any in-depth things as deep as what her and the cast have experienced, so I can't speak to that type of friendship that they've had. Like, I feel like her and Destiny, they've been through some Y'all been through some We ain't been through no They've been through no you know, so it's kind of hard it to be like, really oh, this is some strong that stands the test of time. So when I say we've been good, we haven't had any issues. But, you know, I feel like you're really good friends when you had some issues and you're able to work past it. Absolutely. That we ain't part. got there yet. Mm -hmm. So now we're Retreat. Good. Retreat now. Like, seriously. Because... You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's so she, hard she, to be like, you listen, want... Listen, I don't want to feel so sorry like, for her. I don't know. I'm like, we're sorry. I, know I feel like a friendship. It's no... And this is where so many, in my opinion, lose their credibility as friends. Because just as quick as um, Destiny and Tisha were to jump in and say, facts, yeah, that part, and all of that good stuff, I wish Kimmy would have taken the opportunity to say, although maybe I don't know what's going on, even though she might, but if you want to play it safe and say, well, I don't know what's going on with this dynamic, but I can say that 
you know, we've gone through hurdles and we've made it through. She's been a good friend to me. Why is it so hard for anyone to speak up when it comes to her being a friend? But y'all can rattle off stuff that she's done for you guys when she's been there and been supportive and all of that good stuff. But the moment it comes to saying she's a good friend, everyone is mum. Mum is the word. And even Stormy, I never liked her response from Jump. And I can understand part of it. Don't get me wrong. Where she's saying, you know, like sometimes it takes you going through things to determine whether you're a real friend. And I haven't been that through that with her. Fine, right? But at the end, she kept saying, y'all want me to say this stuff. But, you know, we're building a friendship. We're building a friendship. And I feel like she went harder for Destiny than she did for Mel, who was the one that brought her into this circle. I mean, we've already seen footage of her hanging out with Destiny and Tisha, which is fine. Anyone can hang with who they want to hang out with. But her response looks biased because, like I already stated, she seemed like she went harder for Destiny than she did for Mel. Where, even if she would have answered with what she answered with, she could have kept it to a point where when she said, you know, true friendships go through things and they find their way back to each other and she could have cleaned it up by saying something about maybe like maybe it just wasn't for them or you know whatever the case may be but in my opinion she seemed like she was showing what side she sided with where her loyalty lied who she's been hanging out with and so I hope uh, Mel keeps an eye out on Stormy because although I was rooting for her in the beginning, I've done past videos where I'm like, I think she's misunderstood. You know, I was rooting for her not to be on Mel's side, but just to be a genuine, neutral person. Like, I feel like we need more of that. What aggravates me is how everyone teams up against one person. So it's not so much that I wanted her to be, you know, on one side or the other, but what's with, what's wrong with being neutral? What's wrong with being a friend to Mel? You know, what? what is wrong with that? It seems like everyone gets tainted as soon as they get in the presence of the Scots and Martell. Amazing too. You. I do. I you're really a, do. You're such a liar really and you're so good at it. Uh -uh. That's, so that's good you, but I'm on the projection. It's Damn. all good. I love the projection. He's bad at it. I, I forgive go, people. I we're building. I'm still friends with I'm people. I'm building right now, so I just trying to make a point about me. Only because you're trying to make a point about me. Because who sits and continues to be friends with people who blast you and talk about you and not having a home builder's license, say you're a liar, say all this stuff about you? Why is it that you are still trying to build a friendship with them? Because you want to be able to, for this moment, to say, see, I get along with no, you know they just my. You, hey, honestly, do you just know that's my done. character over the I don't years. Do that you know that it's been my done. character over the years. Cost I forgive and people and because okay you know what? Because I want people to forgive you know, me as well. Okay you know what I'm saying? You, but you've you never forgiven nobody for nothing. Cast, and I said, if you ever forgive somebody, I told them don't trust that because you really didn't forgive them. You want something from them. For a very long time, I don't want nothing and don't need nothing. God is my source and has been since I left your dusty ass. So I let that whole clip play because. Who doesn't want to hear her call him Dusty again? <laughs> I never pass up on the opportunity to listen to that clip. But what I want to focus on is a couple seconds back when Mel said you went around this whole cast, all of Huntsville, trying to get people to turn against me. And right now what we'll focus on is him doing exactly that. I've been very upset because of you guys saying stuff about me and my family, but I understand it now, though. When I saw certain communications coming from you guys, and I'm thinking, even my wife and I, we have a conversation, I'm like, why do they keep coming for us? I'm like, we're not saying it about them. And Melly agreed, like, no, we're not. That's why I acted out like I did. You know, it's like me almost like telling, like, y'all stop. I'm not knowing what my wife doing. I'm telling y'all, chill, y'all stop. Like, I'm being bored or something. It, it's not me. You Martel, know what I'm saying? It's not me. I'm just going to let you know right here. You made comments out of your mouth yes. that directly affected our marriage. Oh, you're talking about like the 20 girls? Mm hmm. So even though I was misled by Mel, I did say some things out of my own mouth that it'd be hard for them to forgive and forget. Hopefully, we'll be able to move forward from that. Now, as much as I don't like to give Tisha much credit, I have to give it to her here because Martel was trying to blame everything on Mel 
And as much as Tisha loves to blame everything on Mel as well, even she felt convicted to say, no, 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 Martel. This was definitely things that came out of your mouth. So this was the beginning of the tour to tarnish Mel's name. I'm sure it started even before this, but it definitely didn't end after this. What's up, Telltale? Tell? What's up? How you doing? Look at you in your polos. That's right, that's What's right. That? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Where the hubby at? Shoes, shoes. Mm. Well, hopefully your flow clean. Always. A lot of people be talking about some, take your shoes off, flow be dirty as hell. <laughs> I feel that it's weird that Martell is here right now because I'm so used to it being Martell and Melody. You know, I've known Martell for so long and Melody has become like my, you know, sister. So it's kind of like, but to be in the middle, it, it's just, mm, it's a thin line. Can we give you guys no fuss at night? Or well, not much? He sleeps like every two and a half hours he wakes up. Oh, then LeBear gets up and take care of him well. I got you. LeBear does what? Get up and feed him and. LeBear sleeps too, off. him crying. And I have to say, can you change his diaper this time? <laughs> Thankfully, my little Lala is a napper. So I get my breaks when he takes his break. So it's awesome that he's such a good baby. So, how the kiddos? <laughs> oh, the kids, they're doing good though. Yeah. Um, they just been affected a little bit about, mm. you know, how um, Mel and I, how we're doing it. What's really going on, like? What was really going on, we get a damn divorce. We're for real, for real? I think it's just the best for, for all of us. You know, the kids, her, myself. Yeah, there's and, nothing uh, even that y'all think y'all can work through? We, we've tried to, but it's just so much negativity. I can't take her coming at me with the mouth and she can't take whatever I'm giving her. You can't take the mouth? <clears throat> I can't take the verbal abuse and- Listen to Destiny being inappropriate even then. She knew what she meant when she said that, and you can hear her giggling in the background if you really pay attention. I don't know if they lowered her mic so it wouldn't be so obvious or whatever the case may be. And then he had to turn around and try to clarify or be more specific. But why are you joking with someone else's husband, ex-husband, whatever like that when you have your own? Disgusting. And, uh, yeah. Considering all the things that have gone on on both sides of the fence, Melody and myself, I really don't see Melody and I ever getting back together. And, and I just see who Melody really is because I feel that her, her heart, for real, her heart isn't good. So you done done. Yeah, we, we're In my done. heart, you know I never will be able to see y'all two apart. It's always Mel and Tail. Well, just know our divorce, it might go left real quick because of certain things that I'm asking for in a divorce. So I think it's gonna get kinda ugly before it gets better. Mm. So you make sure that you don't ever choose Melody over Martell because we got the, the 20 plus years of history, okay? That's not fair. It's true, I've known Martell longer, but me and Melody have definitely grown close over the years, especially since Law has been born. And you know, Martell, ugh. You know, I, ugh. And Melody too did a lot of wrong and she wasn't trying to do too much right. So we equal. Really? Yeah, we equal. After all you've done, like how are y'all equal? Well, you're insinuating that she's seeing somebody else. Well, I'm not insinuating she's seeing someone else. I know she's seeing someone else. And Melody, really, real talk, like you know better. I got all the proof. I mean, like, um, text messages and like that. And every time Martell Holt does something, Melody, she runs social media, she runs to TV and put my out there. But I haven't done that. But I'm about to, though. Really? As you can hear, again, he's on this campaign trying to paint Melody as a bad person. He made sure to go door to door, just like a salesman, sell what he was pitching which was that Mel was a bad person. Mel also cheated. Mel did this. Mel did that. Mel didn't do this, and Mel didn't do that. So, again, it's like Martel takes several seats because as much as you would like for people to believe that she's just this negative person, a bad person, why were you fighting so hard to keep her? Up until recently, too. Like, 
mind you, this is from seasons ago. This is season three. Here we are, season five slash six, however they want to coin it. And you're still trying to fight for her. So, who are you bluffing? And don't get it twisted. Mel started seeing somebody once she realized she was done with Martell. And I don't blame her. After being through what she'd been through, after being ran through the mud, after forgiving and trying and doing all of this thing, fighting for her family, all he could do was try to discredit her and talk, go around talking about her like she was the one that cheated. As you see, he's putting out this false narrative. And that's what narcissists tend to do. So I'm just disgusted at the fact that he was really going around doing this. But this isn't the end. You gotta be a do girl. That's all I'm saying. For anybody that's in male corner right now, the do girl. G give it a little while longer, you won't be there either. I told Destiny, you know, in terms of like Mel's heart and like her not being like a true friend. And, and it came out to be true. I told her, you know, Melody will use you and, and want you to do exactly what she says. And if you don't, she'll cut you off. Mel started off this year by telling us that she was protecting her inner self and her inner peace. And so if she's no longer friends with someone, it might not be her fault. There's typically her side, her side, and then somewhere in the middle is the truth. Exactly, Tiffany. But what I wish would have happened was her speaking up to Martel to his face. But sometimes I do get it when it comes to certain people. It's like, why bother wasting my breath? Because his mind is made up. But I definitely would have voiced my opinion, if I was Tiffany, calling me a do girl. Because what you're not going to do is insult me to my face. I am not a do girl. I haven't done anything she told me to do. And I would love to know what it is that she's told the other women to do that they wouldn't do. You see what I'm saying? Like, he just makes stuff up and runs with it. And so, nothing he says holds any water, has any credibility... Other than the fact that he's just trying to tarnish her name. But let's keep going. Yes. Hey, hey babies. Hi, Grandma. Grandma. How y'all doing? Of course my mom knows the problems that Melanie and I are having. But I'm not looking forward to telling her how serious it is this time. Grandma, look. Daddy cooked. Okay. No, actually, Mom cooked it. He just telling that Dad cooked it, but <laughs> he actually did Okay. Well, look. You tell it like it is, okay? <laughs> Boss baby won't let me get away with anything. She's just like Minnie Mail. I gotta love Boss Baby. Are right, y'all going upstairs a little bit? Hey, Grandma, see y'all a little bit, okay? Okay, have a good talk. So is Melanie still in Atlanta? Yeah, she is. I hate to see y'all living in different houses, though, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, things been a little, a little difficult, you know, with the kids, you know, I have them to myself. Guess what? <laughs> It's all on me, so... That's being so a parent, good. taking care of your business. Yeah. Because this is y'all's responsibility. That's what you got married for. I'm about to be divorced. Oh, my God. I mean, Mama, what you... What are you thinking? So, when you get that divorce, then what you gonna do? I mean, I'm gonna get... I'm oh, gonna, my God. I, I'm gonna have a helper. A, a, a nanny. Are you serious? Yeah. Mama, you know I need help cooking, cleaning, folding clothes, washing clothes. Well, you should have thought about that before you got to acting up. And I wasn't the only one acting uh, up. You started it. How you know I started it? You started this. I knew you started this. You know, you brought it to my attention. And then I talked to you. Well, you chose to do it again. So it's all on you. She was doing certain things before I, I stepped out. See, one thing about a liar, they always forget the lies that they tell. So when Miss Marlene called him out on his BS, he sat there shocked and appalled. Yeah, we know you were the one doing it. Now you're trying to spin this narrative that it was Mel and Miss Marlene called him out. I don't want to hear none of that. Then he continues to try to taint her mind by saying she was doing things. Even if she was, it was all in response, retaliation, reaction to what you have done. That's what caused me to step out because of she was no longer taking care of me. Well, when we take care of y'all, y'all still step out. It don't matter how much, what to do, you still step out. You just like your daddy. Okay, I'm glad you know that.
I kinda hope my mom would have seen my side instead of Mel's, but I shouldn't be surprised because she thinks of Mel as her daughter. You know, your mama will be there for you. Yeah. But I do not like that. This is my family. The beautiful family, my family. Having these four kids is tough. Yeah, but that's what you wanted. Yeah. And you got it. So handle that, okay? To see Miss Marlene like this, I feel was her authentic reaction, her authentic self, and her authentic disgust in her son. What we see now isn't so much so this, but I think after so many lies being told to her by Martel, it caused her to change her tune. And in support of her son more so. Because whatever it is that Martel was telling her, it was also to paint him in a positive light and Mel in a negative light. And this is what he has been trying to do with everybody that he has come across. Now let's get into some of his disgusting behavior. Many of you may remember the time where Mel had just found out that he was still cheating on her and they were having the argument in the bedroom where she was folding clothes and started throwing the clothes. Well, if you remember, she was telling him that he needed to leave. And what was his response? No, you leave. He is a disrespectful something. You're cheating and you tell me to leave? <laughs> Oh, you have another thing coming, honey. In this next clip, you'll see where it's gotten to the point of them actually filing for divorce. And they agreed upon two-week breaks. She went to Atlanta for her two weeks. And upon arrival, he was supposed to leave. But of course, Martel plays the same games he always plays. What's up, Marcel? How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Need help with that suitcase? No, I do not. Do you no. need help to you get your stuff out? Well, I don't Or you already got it out? No, I have not moved all my stuff out yet. We agreed that I was coming today. I know, but there's still certain things that we need to talk about. Well, anyway, kids! See your kids before you come in and start trying to. I mean, Talk you to asked me, me, me about stuff. No, I wasn't trying to talk about I said you need help with your suitcase. And I said, no, you didn't need help that, with your uh, stuff. Gotcha. I definitely don't. You ain't never helped me with my stuff, so why help me now? Hey, kids, your mom down here. I am really hoping that Martell and I can be cordial, but here we go. He's already lying. But you know what? I'm gonna try to be the bigger person. I haven't seen my kids in two weeks because he's had them for his two weeks. Hey. Hey. Hey, <laughs> I really just want to give my kids hugs and love on them right now. I'm not really checking for whatever Martel and I are talking about right now. Like, out. I'm about to get you, Lonnie Pooh. Right, Don't worry. Careful, okay? It won't be long. I'm coming, baby. Take her bottle. Go ahead. Uh, what's up? What's, what's, so, what's up? You said you ain't got your stuff out? Not 100%. Oh, and well, do you have enough out where like you can leave and not have to stay tonight? I mean... I mean, well, what, what, I, what I want to talk about is a little bit deeper than that in terms of the kids um, being just in one house. You can go to the other house for two weeks, then it's my turn to watch the kids and we can just switch. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I think it'd be a lot easier to keep the kids in one house. All their stuff is here. All Melanie's baby stuff is in there. Her changing table, her sleeping station. Hey, Martel, I don't want to go over there. Well, I think that you... And, that, and for me coming here was not an agreement me to go over there. The agreement was that I was going to come here and you were going to be there. Um, so well, don't let me get in Huntsville and you switch stuff up. Okay, well, think about that. Anything else? And I'll get all my stuff out tomorrow. You will lie. I will, what the f Okay, I mean, you'll say I'll get all my stuff out tomorrow. Boy, please, get your stuff out. Don't drag your heels on this like you drag your heels on everything else, the divorce and everything else. Make sure you move, the divorce. move expeditiously. Oh, listen, when it comes to the divorce and things like that, certain things I did not agree with like on that what? paperwork. Like what? I don't want to do homeschool. No. 
so why? so so so, so so what I what I put in my paperwork as a rebuttal to you and your attorney is for Martell to have full custody of the kids. I'll knock you in your. Uh, why are you? Why are you, you talking saying like something that? like that to me? I'm just saying be because I haven't seen that. I mean, well, that's so that, I haven't that, seen that. That's what's so being that, that's so what's being sent to that's you guys. That's what's being sent to me. You think you're gonna get full no, custody? No, listen, listen, stop talking like that. No, why that. are you saying that? Chill. Shut up. You got to be so negative. Because you fake as hell. Why are you saying it right now? Listen, why if you're not, oh me? my god. Why you been talking? I want my family. I don't want a divorce. Let's move away. Am I lying? Hell no, you're not lying. Oh, okay. Next. But look what you're saying. I'm getting full custody. No, I'm not going to stay stagnant and allow you to be in Georgia and me be in Alabama and my kids are going back and forth. I t hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to do what's best for the kids when it comes to the education, when it comes to their life, just like whatever. you've been doing best, what's best for these kids the past five years. Why are you getting so hostile? you since the beginning. I've been 50 50, not a problem. No, until. because everything, you want everything to go your way, though. What's going my way? What's for going you to, my way? First, for you, listen, stop talking so loud. I can't believe you said that. I, I told you I don't want my kids to be uprooted from Alabama, Huntsville, period. Get the out. No, go. Go and keep you, going. You talking like that. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I don't want my kids to be around that. You being no, so I don't negative. I my kids being around you and What about What about that person? What about them text messages I got in my phone? I, I, I don't want my kids being around that. We don't have anything going I, I, on, honey. You do, because so, no, you have, no, to, you have no. my kids in Birmingham. Oh, now you're just lying. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Nobody just make up. Well, well don't make stuff up on me him. then. What did I make up? Stop. What did I make up? Stop. Exactly, because you know. Don't, don't make up. Get out. No, whatever. And then there was this. Hey, Jeremiah. What they doing, Mama? See, what did I come You could have gotten it, uh-huh. I'm getting settled in my new house, and it feels so good not to be dealing with Martell's nonsense. Can you help me draw something? Yeah, what you want to draw? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, hair. Hair? OK, uh -huh. give me one. All right, we're going to draw hair. What's up, y'all? Daddy! How y'all doing? How you doing? Obviously, because Martell and I have to co-parent, you know, I had to give him the address of where I'm living, but not for him to be popping up, not for him to be taking advantage of knowing where I live. He better not be popping up, doing drive-bys, having folks drive by, none of that. Like, why are you here right now? What you doing here? Wherever my kids are, so I can, I'm popping up. Don't pop up. This is my no, time for kids. No, I'm just like, saying. Like, our whatever. time. Listen, OK, we ain't got to fuss in front of the kids. Yeah, I don't want to fuss. I said our time. Hey, kids, are you guys going for a moment? Uh, wait, uh, wait. Just go, go in for a moment, OK? Because mommy is about to start fussing. All right, so not only do you just pop up at people's house, but then you start pulling the kids into it. Why would you say that? And if you guys remember, he said he did the same thing when it came to Miss Van at one point when he went to go pick up the kids. They were having a conversation and Miss Van said, you know what? And she had like lifted her hand like, you know what? Don't worry about it. We won't even touch on it. And he yells out, come on, kids. Your grandmother's putting her hands in my face. If that is not manipulative, I don't know what is. And then you sit there and you tell the kids, go on inside because your mother's about to get, um, what was the word he used? Hostile, whatever he said. It doesn't even matter what he said. Stop dragging the kids into it. And this just further goes to show how much he talks about her in front of the kids. Because you were willing to do it in Mel's face. So I know, I can only imagine what you say when she's not there. Mel might have the kids for two weeks, but anyone think that I'm gonna be in the same town as my kids and not see them for two weeks, doesn't understand Martell Hope, period. I so you're gonna act like you went there for them, yet you went to speak to Mel though. So don't try to hide behind this. Whoever thinks I'm gonna not see my kids for two weeks, don't know me, don't understand Martell Hope, then why aren't you spending time with the kids instead of trying to speak to Mel? Be up and up. 
Keep it 100. Keep it a buck. You went. You popped up to see what Mel was doing. To see if there was anybody else around. If you think back to even the recording that he dropped. Thinking he was doing something. At the very end of the recording, he says, does anybody else be there? His whole MO, even with the child custody, isn't for child custody. It's for Melody custody. That's what he really wants. I want this transition to be pretty much, it's best for the kids. I have the kids for two weeks, well, usually three, because when you're two weeks up, for you to get them, you don't want them yet. So no, no, I have them for three weeks, you have them for two. I think that works. We've been doing it ourselves. Nobody told us to do that. Nobody made us do that. The only three... You, you made me do it. I'm I sorry. Made, oh, tell me, after you went on social media saying you ain't seen your kids in two weeks? That's accurate. Absolutely. And, and, and you, you blocked me, and your mother blocked me, of so course. I couldn't talk to you. My mom no, has no respect for you, that. and you have no respect for my mother. Your That's mom don't clear. have no respect she for me? She has no respect for you, and you have no respect for her. Please, she don't got respect for me. She ain't seen my kids ever again. So Martel, shut up talking about Miss Van like that before you don't see your kids ever again. What you you talking think? about no respect for me? I didn't judge your mom or her situation. Do you feel like my mom God judged you? Because you're just talking out your nose. Listen, Do you feel stop. like my mom judged you? Has my stop. mom been supportive of you and loving you and encouraging I've you been a... and tried to? I'm talking about even though you're hurting her daughter. You no. know, you've been hurting her daughter. She's still the showing daughter been you hurting love. me too. How? Everything. How? You've done, you done you? the same thing to me. I'm not doing the same thing you're doing. Let's be clear. You you have no, been. No, no, uh, uh, no. Adultery? I'm talking about years ago. Ye ye years oh ago. Gosh. Have you ever cheated on no, me? Years I ago. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I just started talking to nobody until I left you. The, you. That's not the same thing. I'm sorry. We, we've never been divorced. But Martel, I don't feel like I'm married to you anymore. You should know that by now. Everybody will know that you're not the melody that everybody been well, thinking. Oh, that what you melody are. am I in? Mm. What you talking about? What anyway. melody? Talk about that'll go off on you. They saw that on TV. That'll cuss you out if you done you oh, cheating. No, they saw that. No. So what you talking about? You cheated. Martel, why do you keep saying I you cheated? cheated? That's on the reason me. I cheated because you cheated. You stopped doing things to me that your parents were doing to someone else. I will knock the out this. Like, for real. Girl, if you don't stop. I'm finna go. No. Cause you're lying and I can't take. No. Uh, I absolutely, I'm not, I'm sorry y'all, but I ain't gonna I, 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 with I, a I said liar. apparently. I'm sorry y'all. I can in no way film with a blatant liar. No. I'm not gonna let somebody just come. No, apparently. Lying on apparently. my brand and I'm saying that I cheated on him. That's why he cheated. I ain't no, about to apparently, do yeah. Aww, you so, ain't gonna do that. So, 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 so what caused you to stop You're taking care of your man? One. I never fucked your My boy, Wait, oh my I, gosh, my know? boy. Stop talking like that. There's yeah. a difference in a change up, and oh, I didn't was, change it, up it, on it, you. It was, it was a it 100% up. right. So what was your sex activity with somebody else? What the do you What was your sex activity with somebody else? I'm not with you. No matter, what was your sex activity with somebody else? I'm not with you. What was your sex activity you cheated on me? That's what you focus on. That's what you focus on. No. You should be worried about yourself. <laughs> I, I, I told cause you. Because I'm not with you. I don't want to be with you. Yeah, I don't think he's thought everything through. Um, when he's unfortunately made the bad choices he's made, I don't think he's thought about how it affects the kids. I don't think Martel has thought about how it affects me. I don't think he's thought about how it affects our families. I think he's only thought about Martel and what Martell wants. That's not a family man. And I think that it's very sad that you would expect another human to put up with so much bull from you. Stop the manipulation. You're good at it. I ain't even gonna lie. He's a very good manipulator. He's a very good liar. But it just doesn't work here anymore. Now, this is nothing compared to all the other things that we've seen him and heard that he has done. But 
just the mere fact that someone can lie on somebody just to make themselves look better. Why would you want them to be in that person's presence? Like, why wouldn't you want them to do better and get away from that toxicity? We need to normalize <laughs> getting rid of toxicity. Our girl Bay said it the best. Find the good in goodbye. And my girl Mel's just trying to do that. And I feel like Carlos King is trying to reel her on back. This is just crazy to me. Now I want to end with this one. Calling Carlos King out on the narrative that he's trying to push. I know that a lot of damage has been done. This is what I felt was happening. I think for me, outside looking in, when a woman decides to choose her career and she is at this stardom, I do think some men sometimes feels like, well, what about me? What Please note that he said what I see happening from the outside looking in, meaning this is what he's seen as far as their relationship. What about me? Like, I'm a, you know, this is us. I know I'm hard on men too, but I'm also hard on women because I always say to them, like, the more you rise, you got to remember to hold your man down. And what that means is every husband wants to feel wanted. I agree well, that that happens, but that wasn't that in this case. I still cooked. I still, you know, did a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? We and you heard Boss Baby say in the earlier clip that it was her mother that cooked. I didn't play that for no reason. We weren't, obviously, we were obviously not not having sex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I you stayed pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. I stayed pregnant. Mm -hmm. God damn, I stayed pregnant. But um, <laughs> whew, that was a lot of my 20s, too. We were still, you know, us going to Destin, we did that two, three times a year, every year. So no job, career, goals, aspirations ever came between us doing things with our kids and with each other and going places, hanging out with friends when we were all kicking it. Like, nothing came between that. I can't sit here and act like it was a situation where old Melody just forgot about her husband. Oh, no, I wasn't saying that. I, I, but, but let me ask you this, though. Mm -hmm. If you could do things all over again, is there anything you would have done differently in your marriage? The appropriate person to have asked that would have been the person on your other side. So you should have turned around and asked that question to Martel Holt. I don't, I don't like the narrative that they're trying to paint like it was her fault that her marriage didn't make it because she didn't uphold Martel. And even how he tried to switch up saying, oh no, I'm not saying that it was your story. Thank God Mel has a mouth and knows how to stand up for herself because they would run her through the mud otherwise. But they quickly, quickly tried to paint this narrative that it was her fault and questioning her Again, like it is her fault. I don't understand people who continue to badger and victim blame. I do believe the same way Martel was going on a tour, campaigning for everyone to go against Mel, he too got into Carlos's ear. It may not have taken as much as it may have taken for the others, but... Nonetheless, I do believe he was in his ear. And I do believe that Carlos believes the lies that Martel tells, which is why he continues to cape for him, which is why he continues to make excuses and hide and brush things under the rug for him. You mean to tell me if the shoe was on the other foot and Mel would have done the things that Martel has done, that it would be the same? I don't think so. But nonetheless, this is the exact reason why her manager, Ms. Dawn, stand up, came out and was like, enough is enough of this narrative that they're trying to paint. And so has Marcus. He too has come out and said, y'all need to back up off my sister. And I know there's a narrative saying that, you know, Marcus didn't show up till season three or something like that to stand up for his sister and that's not true because season two when all of this was going down 
he has something to say. Old Mel is back. So he needs to pack his stuff and get out the house. If you need me to ride down there with you to get the stuff out the house, let me know. I have no problem going. Oh, okay. Let me know. Mm -hmm. So again, people been having Mel's back. Whether y'all want to turn a blind eye to it or not, that's up to y'all. But at the end of the day, we're sick of it. We're sick of you guys trying to push this narrative about Mel. We're sick of the bullying. We're just sick and tired of being sick and tired. So we can only imagine what Mel feels like being act actually being in this rut. But that's all I have for y'all in this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Listen, I like chocolate girl, all shades, different flavors. She a diamond and a pearl. She a goddess with a mentor, yeah. Cinnamon swirl. She relate to what I've been through, yeah. Queen of my world.